You know what I love about God's Word? It's so true. It is so absolutely true. And we can use His Word to live powerfully and successfully every day of our lives. Jesus said that if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. If you've seen Jesus or you learn about Jesus, then you've seen God and you learn about God. He is the light of the world. Hello, I'm Dale Black. Welcome to another Message from Heaven. To me, one of the most amazing things about God and what amazes me most about the way He works is how He loves us so much. The Creator of the universe sent His only Son to earth to save us, and he made available to us his plan for eternal life. It's just incredible. I'm so happy about it, and it's so wonderful for those of us that have shared in the eternal life made through Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus was with God at the time of creation, according to the Bible. His earthly arrival was predicted a lot of times in the Old Testament prophecy. God interrupted human history and sent Jesus to live among us as a man. He was God himself. His crucifixion is a historical fact. His resurrection was verified by hundreds of witnesses, believers, and non-believers alike. In John chapter 12, Jesus said, He who believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And he who sees me sees him who sent me. We're talking about God, the creator of the universe. You can learn more about God by reading your Bible and learning about Jesus. Learn what he said. Learn what he taught. Learn what he did. It's incredible. And when you do, you learn about God. Do you want to get closer to God? Learn about Jesus. Scripture tells us that if you've seen Jesus you've seen the Father. Now, when we observe the life of Jesus, we see how God operates. Jesus is not some elusive uh, fairy tale. He's not just another prophet. He's not just another teacher. Jesus said, I have come as a light into the world that whoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. It also says salvation is found in no one else for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind which we must be saved. Just Jesus, the Savior of the world. Jesus is the living, breathing, and touchable Son of God. About himself he says, And if anyone hears my words and does not believe, I do not judge him. For I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. It goes on to say, whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. To me, the most amazing thing is that Jesus paid my penalty by dying on the cross in my place. In Romans we see it says, But God demonstrates his own love for us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Now I've accepted his gift. I've received him into my life. And so now his spirit lives in my heart. What about you? What I'm trying to describe is more than a belief system. It's not just another religion. Oh no, this is the real thing. A personal relationship with the God of creation. A personal relationship and a personal transforming event can happen in your life. You can learn more about God and His Son Jesus by simply reading your Bible. And when you read, may I suggest something? Hold your Bible in your hands and say, God, Show me yourself today. Reveal to me answers that I need. I mean, literally, pray whatever words work for you, but pray each time you hold that Bible in your hands and ask God to reveal truth to you. And you know what will happen? I guarantee it. 
because the Word of God is living, it's alive, I believe you're going to find that certain scriptures, certain passages are going to, as if they jump out of the page and they grab you by the throat and they shake you and they say, this is for you right now. This is what I'm saying to you. That's what's so great about God's Word. Now, you can learn more about God and His Son by just simply reading the Word of God. You may say, well, where do I start? I don't recommend necessarily starting in the Old Testament, although that's wonderful. But if you're brand new to the faith, if you're just learning, uh, beginning your uh, walk with God or through Jesus, I recommend starting in the Gospel of John. And then read through the entire book of John and go right in to the book of Acts. Because these two books, you're going to learn some powerful truths about God's love and about his gift of salvation and about his eternal plan for your life. Now, if you already know Jesus Christ as your Lord, be open and ready to share this great message of love with someone in your family, with someone else that has not met him, with one of your friends or co-workers at work. I'm just sending this to you today with great love in my heart. My wife, Paul, and I send our prayers to you and our love for you. And we want you to be reminded that you can do it. Whatever God asks you to do, you can do. Because with God, nothing is impossible. Thanks for watching.